Hey, how's it going? Nat here. Well, in case you missed it, Australia now has a brand new Prime Minister. Anthony Albanese has been sworn in as Australia's 31st PM. Kale has more. I, Anthony Norman Albanese. Yep, that's him, our new PM. You're probably wondering how he got in this situation. Hello. I don't want to disappoint you for Thursday. <laughs> he doesn't need my advice. <laughs> oh my God. A better future for all Australians. Thank you very much. On Saturday, millions of Aussies, some in very few clothes, took to the polls. Hmm. I wonder who that guy voted for. It's a secret ballot. And soon it became pretty clear the coalition government was out and Anthony Albanese and the Labor Party would be the ones to form a new government. Tonight, the Australian people have voted for change. Our government wasn't listening to us. There were a few shake-ups, though. So we've changed the government. A bunch of independents with a pretty strong focus on climate change won in their electorates, while the Greens had their best election result ever. It was a green slide. Minor parties and independents are likely to play a much bigger role in Parliament this time around. And Labor still might need their help to form government. Great neighbourhood. For now, though, our brand new PM is already getting to work. Parts of Canada have been hit by huge storms. Oh, my goodness! Winds were so strong in Toronto on Saturday, they sent this trampoline flying across city streets. They also uprooted trees, disrupted traffic and damaged homes across Ontario and Quebec. Oh my goodness. At least five people have died in the storms and up to a million have been left without power. More records have been broken at the Australian Swimming Championships. That and more in sport. The world record's catching up. Come on, Ariane! Get there! Come on, go! She's got a world record for Ariane Dual Olympic gold medalist Ariane Titmus has broken the women's 400 metre world record at the Australian Swimming Championships. She beat the record held by American Katie Ledecky by just 0.06 seconds. I've just loved swimming the past six months and I think going to training with no pressure and just enjoying the sport, I think it's underrated, like how important that is. Manchester City have taken out their fourth Premier League title in five years, coming from two goals down to shatter Liverpool's hopes at the Championship. City were trailing Aston Villa 2-0 before they scored three lightning-quick goals in the last 15 minutes to secure the title. Ilkay Gundogan was the hero, scoring two of the three goals. Brink of despair! Elation! Over the weekend, the AFL celebrated Indigenous players and culture in the Sir Doug Nichols round. The highlight was the pre-game ceremony ahead of the Dreamtime at the G game between Richmond and Essendon. And Richmond walked away with the win pretty comfortably. Things you shouldn't put in eggs. A power drill. A ticking time bomb. And my life savings. And also these next stories. This is a robot designed to taste eggs. These engineers from the University of Cambridge have been designing a robot that can taste food to see how salty it is and whether it needs more seasoning. But they do want to understand more about taste and if robots can replicate how we humans perceive it. Another thing you shouldn't put in eggs is molten lava. But if you're Europe's tallest active volcano, aka Mount Etna in Italy, you're probably not too bothered. This volcano has been spewing smoke and lava metres high into the sky, making for some spectacular scenes. And finally, this is Hussein. He's known around these parts as Hussein the Moustache Guy, for uh, obvious reasons. His mo measures in at 2.24 metres long, and he's been growing it since the 1960s. He now claims to have the longest moustache in all of Iraq. It goes without saying that facial hair does not belong in eggs, but it does belong in the record books. <laughs> oh, nice one. Well, that's all the news we've got for you today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.